That's right, there's no music on this one. In the startup. Here's my center so of operation memorabilia from all my past cases. In there. That's great, Nancy. I'm so glad to know that. Hey everybody, welcome back. Who is ready for a classic? This one is a banger. Banger and a half. Um I don't feel bad saying that this could be my favorite game. That doesn't mean it's the best, but this this is easily my top three favorite. It's certainly up there for me, too. I feel like it's a lot of people's favorite. And, and not to fun mention, fact, yeah. our first ever Nancy Drew game. That is correct. I was probably seven years old, and you were probably nine when we played this for the first time. Yeah, that sounds about right. Maybe six and eight. Who knows? Uh, Legend of the Crystal Skull, everybody. Give it up. This is this is Nancy Drew Hall of Fame goaded. It's a game of many hats. I could describe it with many words, them being spooky, gothic, gastroenteritis. There's there's so much going on in this one. Um, I'm, I'm currently trying to sell a few of my IRL friends on the franchise, and if they were to uh, give in, this is definitely the game I'd want them to start playing with me. I could see that. My other pick for first game would be Thornton Hall. Both of the Southern Gothic games, so... Both, yeah, both of them, like, horror, creepy Southern Gothic her, games. Her Interactive has a good thing going with this genre, so mm -hmm. uh, I would highly advise him to try again in that genre. Maybe game 34 could be lit as hell. Who knows? Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, I think we're going to go ahead and... Oh, we should open the case file first. Mm -hmm. Current assignment. What assignment? We'll let Nancy take Wes this one. And I are flying to New Orleans for a long weekend of fabulous music, sightseeing, and food. Yeah, I'm sure, okay, Nancy. so I'm also going to visit Ned's friend, Henry Golay. But only as a favor to Ned. Apparently, Henry's uncle just died, and he had to go down. Man, that lawnmower is kind of intense. Give me, look, give me look at this. Nice look at these daytime shots. Kind of <laughs> Isn't that interesting? It is. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn down that lawnmower just a bit. Who might appreciate a little company? So the first thing I'll do is leave Bess at our hotel in the French Quarter and take a cab out to the mansion where Henry's staying. Ned called him and said I'd be coming. But once that's done, it'll be lazy les bon temps brûlés. <laughs> the only bad news is the weather's not supposed to be that great this weekend. But what's a little stormy weather when you're in the heart of the Big Easy, right? Right. Yeah. This might be Nancy's most oblivious case file ever. Also, I th is this French for let the good times roll? I think it is. Sure. But it, do but it doesn't make sense the way she says it. I don't know. Uh, anyways, yeah, there's no mystery. We're just gonna go visit Nancy's friend. Nothing, bad, nothing will bad will happen. Nothing at all. There won't be any uh, men in skeleton costumes, so don't... What, what do you... Senior? Senior. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This oh, is amazing. Why did they not do this for, like, other games? Why did they do it for this game? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hang on, I should, um... Give me, give me one second. I do have to turn off the lights just because the game asked us to. Yeah. Halt. Halt the production. Halt the production. Nope, that's the fan. Okay, it's off. Okay. Wow, it's actually dark as shit in here. I'm totally gonna spill my glass. I'm a little scared, Jamie. I'm a little scared, too. It did say this game was placed. Knock on the door. I'm knocking on the door. Oh my goodness, they don't even lock their door. Hello? Anybody here? Spookiest oh clock of all and time. This is where my childhood began, right here. We weren't ready for this as first and third graders. <laughs> Absolutely not. We were not ready. Hi, the door was open. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my. It's Jack Skellington. <laughs> Where did he go? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Dude, switch this. That's crazy. Boofed. An even scarier sight. Here, drink this. What? What is it? Something that'll make you feel better. Drink it. Just a couple sips. Okay, now Do or die. hold the phone. Do or die. This is a great entry to this game, and I always wish that this decision had an impact, albeit a slight impact, on the game. Like, this is so cool. And it's like, <laughs> first game we ever played. I know, no, don't you dare click I, it. I'm not, I'm not touching the mouse. I just think <laughs> this is crazy. It's like, if this was your first ever Nancy Drew game, like what you and I, like what it was for us, it's like, I remember thinking about this decision for like five minutes. I was like, we were, what, what we were afraid. Do? There was fear in our eyes. Just, I like, mean, look at her. How could you not be afraid? I know. So, like, what do you guys do in this decision if you thought, if this were real life, I guess? I'm going to say that looks like a kale smoothie, and that is a no thank you for me. Me too. Uh, no thank you. Don't make her drink any of your weirdo concoctions. Mm. Then I really will have to take her to the emergency room. I think you I know go all back of this dialogue call verbatim. Leave us be. <laughs> Don't, Don't pay him any mind. mind. Where, where am I? I? You're, You're in Henry Rolay's house, dear. In, in the, the library. library. 
He and I carried you in here after I found you unconscious in the foyer. Okay, Jamie, the viewers Why is it so okay, okay. dark in here? The electricity okay, went we gotta out. say this one. Lightning, Lightning must have struck a transformer somewhere. somewhere. Okay, that's the last what one, happened? I swear. Can you remember? Well, the front door was open, so I walked in, and then I saw this... Well, I saw a skeleton, and then he saw me, and then the light started flickering, and he threw something at me that exploded. Oh, the smoke must have made me pass out. You saw a skeleton? I'm sure it was just someone, you know, wearing a costume or something. I'm Nancy Drew, by the way. You know, I came to see Henry. Renee so does have surmised. a really good character model. I'm Renee yeah. Amand. I'm Bruno Bolet's housekeeper. That is, I was. This skeleton that attacked you. Perhaps we should call the police. No. No, no emergency no room. room. No police. Things are complicated enough as it is. Henry's feeling a mite overwhelmed. <laughs> well, you are looking much better, so I'm gonna get back to my plant parting. You need anything? I'll be outside in the garden. God dear opening. I should yeah. call them and keep them on hold for five <laughs> hours and see how they like it. Off the rip, I just associate with Henry so hard and I haven't even seen his face. So yeah. that that's some good voice acting, if you ask me. Two intros to two great characters. Ah, uh, we've made it. This is Henry does have a good voice actor. I want I want to say again. Uh, I, I this has probably come up before. When Julian and I first played these games, we were so new to video games as a whole. This was like the first video game we ever played that we didn't even know, we know what saving games was. Mm -hmm. Every time we went over to our grandmother's house to play this game, because that's the only place that had a computer with a disc drive, we would literally start a new game and mm -hmm. go through the conversation every time. And it was the greatest thing in the world because every time we'd get maybe. A quarter of the way through the game. And oh, that is that is giving us too much. We did not get that far. <laughs> uh, we got to Bess's side sometimes. But you're right. Yeah, we hardly made it anywhere. Sometimes we would find new stuff. Sometimes we wouldn't. Uh, Check the trophy. Okay, yeah, the trophy. This is the first big thing. Bruno Bollet, the man who recently owned this house and died, had a lot of cool trophies here. Miniature modelers. Miniature modelers. Miniature, okay, did he just have miniature modelers? He did. I sort of sworn that was something more impressive. Low rolling. But this one has a strange noise. 1991 trophy. I just found a glass eye. Did Bruno Bollet wear one? Yep. Wore a glass eye for as long as I can remember. Had a whole collection of them. Like to wear a different color every day. That is so cool. And that, like, that already just tells you all you need to know about the type of person Bruno was. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know some people who have glass eyes. But I don't know people who have a whole bunch of different ones that they collect. Because a lot of times people with glass eyes want it to be convincing so that it's not like something that points out about their character. Uh, Bruno apparently just wanted to look like a complete monster. You know, if I needed a glass eye, I would definitely do like the upper one. <laughs> like, <laughs> Kokushibu. Get, get, yeah, get like a number on my eye. <laughs> okay, that would actually be badass. Uh, let's, let's meet our man here, Henry. Make so, sure he's. Oh, Nancy, nice to meet you. Ned sent you here to check up on me, huh? He is so emo. He is. I remember the, when the, when uh, we played this with Mimi. She thought that he was a, a girl. <laughs> I, I, at first, like I did too. Like the first time I ever saw him. It's like that oh. voice doesn't match him. <laughs> He's kind of worried about you. That's all. Ned's a nice guy. I mean, I really don't know him that well. He's got painted just nails. School. But when I mentioned that my only but living relative just died, he was all like, "Yeah, how you feeling, man? You doing okay?" God, hear that impression. Of course, I guess I do come across as a little needy sometimes. Okay, real talk. What is this thing on his wrist? He doesn't have that on his... No, he does have it on his other wrist, too. It's probably some... It's like a like a forearm sleeve. Or it's sort of like a fishnet type thing. I kind of... I almost thought it was a tattoo for a second. No. Whatever. Underrated his sleeves, my guy. Can we give some attention to Henry Belay's arms? Mm -hmm. You look pretty busy. Great Uncle Bruno named me executor of his estate. Which means I have to make sure all his bills are paid and debts taken care of so his assets can be distributed. Unfortunately, he couldn't have cared less about little things like keeping records or balancing checkbooks. Dealing with his creditors and their lawyers has been an absolute nightmare. He made you his executor? You two must have He's been He's such a good voice actor. Not really. Mm -hmm. It's My like the little mannerisms in his voice really sell his character. Eight. Since yeah. I had no other relatives, he took me in. Or should, should I say, he shipped, shipped me out? Boarding school, summer camp, military school, college. <laughs> he may have looked after me, but he never spent any time with me. 
I didn't know him at all. So, thanks for stopping by, Nancy. <laughs> and now you can report back to Ned that I'm fine and go enjoy New Orleans. Case closed. If this was an Alex Alinkovitz game, the credits would roll right now. <laughs> I sure can, but I'm not going to. Not until I know who that skeleton man was and what he was doing here and why he knocked me out like that. Look, I can understand you're not wanting to call the police, but somebody should investigate. And since playing detective is kind of a hobby with me... No offense, but are you sure you didn't just pass out from the heat and humidity or something and dream that you saw the skeleton dude? Nah, you're gaslighting me. I'm positive. <laughs> okay, look around all you want. Oh, I love but this. I should probably warn you, he Uncle Bruno like was eyeliner. into exotic he does. pets. Didn't believe it. And his cameras, eyebrows so notched. What? Run of the place. And just Wait. because he's oh my God, dead it is. doesn't mean they are. So if you're going to go poking around, be careful. Dude, did Henry Bollet start the eyebrow notching trend in like Wait, 2005? That's crazy. How have I never noticed that? R was that a thing before Wait, it was a get thing? Him, get him to spin around. I want to see him one more time. Does he spin around? He, I think he, I have to so click soon? on him. Oh, I thought he. That is a notched eyebrow. Yeah, it is. There's no way it's not. Wow. I remember when that started as a thing, it used to be like, oh, I lost a bet, I had to get my eyebrow I notched. feel like I'm just seeing Henry Bully for the first time. <laughs> it's such a <laughs> magical experience. Um, that's crazy. Okay. We'll ask this real quick. Is your great uncle's estate worth very much? I have no idea, nor will I until I get all his affairs settled. He was a dentist for most of his life, so he must have had some money squirreled away. As you can tell, he was darn good at squirreling away junk. And never got married, hmm. He never got married? <laughs> no way. I can't imagine anyone putting up with him for a day, let alone for a lifetime. Well, that's all we need to know. I'll let you get back to work. Sounds good. Bro, he's a dark horse for, like, coolest suspect ever. He's he's so damn cool. Uh -huh. I'd want to be him for Halloween. Me too. Um, Let's both go as him next year. <laughs> Just to know where... This game is just so weird. This is the Tim Burton Nancy Drew game, like without a doubt. Mm -hmm. So much weird stuff in here. Limes, <laughs> limes and coconuts. I think that might be a Reservoir Dogs reference. Um, Let's explore. Yeah, uh, we heard that Great Uncle Bruno liked his exotic pets. Hmm, I'm sure that's just a taxidermy iguana. A taxidermy iguana. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll keep an eye out for anything strange and animal. All right, you pick. We go into the garden first, or are we going for throughout the house? Oh, let's explore where that skeleton man was. That's a good point. We probably should do that. I already forgot about him, because there's just so much else to be excited by. I love that this hallway is just, like, subtly at a canted angle. I know! That, that always struck me as a kid. It's like the house is sinking. Uh-huh. All right, this is where the guy was. Um, he, what was he looking over? He was definitely looking at that table. He was. Oh, man. It's like a really cool action figure arena. Of the garden. Yeah, th that's right. This place is the cemetery. Um, well, you, there was something on that. On what? No. This? Whoa. Well, something's there. Boing, yung, yung, no, yung, it was yung. on the roof of that, like, church-looking building. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, the, the mausoleum. Yeah. This thing. Bing, 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 bing. Realistically, this is, like, the size of a fourth of our pinky. Okay, but... you know what? I know that the first one's the bird. Maybe I can solve this right now. Is it the bat? I think it's the bat. I thought the worm was used. Bat and then... Jamie, too much dilly-dallying when we have an amazing puzzle just right next to us. Okay. Oh! Oh, no. I just remember what you're thinking of. Um. Okay, so this is a scale model of the cemetery that the estate looks over. We'll deal with this more later because it'll be important. Mm -hmm. Uh, You're referring to this thing, aren't you? Of course. Dude, I'm going to be 100% honest. We're not solving this this episode. This thing is hell on Senior Detective. Put the lime in the yeah, I recall. Let's see. Give here. it, a, give it a couple tries for the for All the viewers right. at home. The objective here is to use this little thing. I, I don't even know what it is. I'm gonna need like a second to like become antiquated with this again. We gotta get all the way down to the eyeball down here in the corner. Yes, we do. Okay, no, wait. I, I am I'm processing the world right now. Stuff behind beyond your comprehension. No, I don't want to do that. Absolutely sadistic puzzle. Like, it's a great puzzle, but it's so difficult. Yeah. So if I seem... I, I'm just thinking, like, four moves in advance right now. I'm... Definitely need to cut this off. 
up here, but how do you go about doing that? What kind of sick, twisted dentist has this as his coffee table? Can I try? Can I just pop in real quick with the uh, yeah. the arrows? You can keep your hand on that if you want. Let me try to do this. <laughs> okay, maybe that was a bad idea. Yeah, you have to think so far in advance. So if you don't knock it again, you're donezo. Okay. Okay. And now this is gonna yeah. look crazy, but I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna okay, come to, gonna crazy. come down here. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. And then I'm gonna do. That. Uh huh. And then kick it up. Okay, there that's one down. Okay. Unfortunately, we did not think to do anything with this yet, so I think it's already yeah. a dead run. Yep. Unless. Now it's a dead run. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's only like two lasers on Junior Detective. Okay, I think I, I think it's coming to me. Ooh, wait, I might see something that could be important in the long run. Maybe knock this all the way over here. Yeah, I, th I mean, I, I don't think that matters when you do it. It's just... Not yet, because if we eventually get on the other side of this. Yeah, but how do we cross that last wire, though? That is the... Oh, I think I actually, see how, yeah. No, it's possible. So this up, right? That, wait, that could have been the linchpin. Yeah, this goes up, and then yeah. punch it in. Yeah. Now, send this ball up before you move the yeah, one above it. I see. Okay, now send that one all the way to the top. Yep. Now... Oh, wait. <sighs> this is the problem. We needed to try to get that second ball somewhere on a higher altitude. Uh-huh. Um... Because we need to we need to get this one up. Okay, it wasn't wrong. But. Oh, that's smart. That is what we needed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, majestic. Okay, now just bump this one up by one. So. Yeah. Put the thing there, and come up and underneath. Yeah. No, Jamie, we're gonna screw up if we're. Okay, I'm not gonna click. It. I'm just gonna like guide where I think you should go. Um, so kick this up. And then... Yeah, go up to. He... No, not there. You don't want to go up all the way. <sighs> Maybe doing it this high is a problem. Wait. Actually, no, no, no. It's not. Send it up here and push it in. And then you wanna yeah. send the ball in. This first. Okay. Now. Okay. Yeah, it's like this. Wait, right? No. That'll trap it. It's already trapped. Grr. So I think. Okay, Wait, I've got I... it. I've got it. I'm like 90% sure I've got it. We want this to be here. And I'm not sure if that's a valid move or not. not very valid is it no because then we end up in this predicament mm -hmm. so but we need this one to be in that position so now we just have to figure out a way to put it there so oh there is a way to put it there easy we're gonna do this and then we're gonna do this now we've got the spacer we wanted now I come down here, send it around, bring it around town. Okay, wait. Now what? Now I'm going to want to pop this through mm -hmm. like that, send this through here. Wait, did you, no, I don't know if you wanted to do that. I may have not wanted to do that, but I did it, so it's done. Yeah. This comes in to block off the thing. Uh -huh. Send it around town. Is that, is Stop that, on your right foot. Don't forget it. Okay. The around town movement is definitely the only thing we definitely have right, right now. I mean, these pegs are here for that purpose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. What if you brought this down a peg now? Wait, stop. Roll just, the top. Uh, you have to think ahead. Let's. I'll try doing that again. I'm going to do this. This. 
punch it. Mm. Oh, I'm stupid. I just needed to punch this forward by one. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot the simplest part of that algorithm. Shit. This comes down here. This goes here and here. And this and that and this and that and this and that and this and... Mm -hmm. Got it. Now, to free the block, we just want to come around here and kick her into place. Yep. Okay. Now, Expertly done. we're not out of the woods yet. I remember that there's one way to really screw this up. Yeah, I think. I think we want to take it over here. No, no, no. Wait, no. You would just go straight down. Yeah, with you're it. right. You're right. See, I was about to do the screw it straight up ending. Yeah. And then I would have ripped my monitor out. That goes down here. This comes down here. Nice. And child's play. And kick Lock it back. us in. Yes. Yep. And we got it. That's a pretty big dub for the first episode, not gonna lie. Yeah. All right. That, that is just a great fun puzzle. Another glass eyeball. Funny, because we already have one of these. Um, mm -hmm. In fact, if we look at our inventory, we can see we have two now. Ew. Sure hope that there aren't 23 more of them littered about this mansion. That'd be kind of crazy.